Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add an affiliate disclaimer to your blog post on your WordPress website without a plugin. Now, this tutorial is specifically for people who use the Generate Press WordPress theme. All this functionality is built into the theme. You don't need to download and install a plugin. You can do that right from within the theme itself with something called hooks. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And the thing is that I should mention, this affiliate disclaimer is gonna show up wherever you want on the post, um, but it's not gonna show up on every single post. We can have it show up on specific posts that actually do have affiliate content on it. So um, let's get on into the tutorial here. And for this, we're gonna be using my travel blog, tonytravels.com. And I actually don't have too many um, blog posts with affiliate links in them, but I know here uh, on page four, there is one specifically this one right here. So the Sicily road trip blog post that I wrote, um, the goal I want is a an affiliate disclaimer right up here, um, right between the date and the first paragraph of the blog post, because that's you know front and center for the user. It's following all the best practices um, for how to put an affiliate disclaimer on your website. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go into our WordPress admin dashboard. And if you do have the generator press theme installed, you can go to appearance and elements. And like I was saying, we can use something called a hook to add this uh, affiliate disclaimer to some of our blog posts. So I'm gonna add a new element of type hook here, and I'm gonna create that. And basically we'll, we'll just call this um, affiliate disclaimer and you can put whatever whatever you put in here, it could be HTML code, it should be HTML code or PHP code. Um, and whatever you put here, we can choose specifically down here where you want that to show up. So for us, we want that to show up in the, and there's, there's documentation about where these actually show up, but for me specifically, we want it to be generate, generate um, after entry, after entry header. Okay, so that's gonna go below the date and above the first paragraph. Now, as for the content of it, of the, uh, the affiliate disclaimer, I have this code here, which I can share with you in the description below. Um, this is basically gonna be a, a, a lightly outlined box. And in the box, it's gonna say, hey there, some of the links on this page are affiliate links, which means that if you choose to make a purchase, I may earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. I greatly appreciate your support. So you can say something like that or something different, um, whatever you feel is appropriate for your website. And um, this looks good. So as far as this page is concerned, we're done. Let's go over to display rules. And like I also said, this doesn't have to show up on every single blog post in your website or every single page for that matter. You can specifically choose which posts and pages you want it to show up on. So I only want it to show up on certain posts. So I'm gonna choose for the location post. And then as far as what specific posts I want it to show up on, there's, I have, again, my cheat sheet over here. Um, let's find the Sicily one. Sicily, how to see Sicily by car. And there's a few more that I wanna to add it to. So instead of you watching me go through that, I'm just gonna add them here and through the power of video, we'll, we'll fast forward. All right, we got, uh, what is this? Like eight or so different affiliate disclosures, disclaimers that we wanna to add to the top of our blog post. And these are specifically the ones that we're gonna show that disclaimer and all the other blog posts won't have that at the top of the blog post. So um, that's all we have to do on this page. Let's go ahead and publish our changes, save our changes. And those are instantaneous. So if we go back to our travel blog, let's just pick one blog post that we know that there is not gonna be any affiliate disclaimer and that's this one here. So you can see that we have our date and then we go right into the content without that disclaimer. Um, let's go back to the Sicily uh, blog post, which was on page four here. Just one second till we get there. And let's see if we get that disclaimer at the top. And we do, there it is, dynamically added to this page. Hey, there's some of those links on this page, our affiliate links, blah, blah, blah. That is how easy it is to set this up on your WordPress website, as long as you're using the Generate Press theme. Guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I also have other videos about how to use Generate Press hooks to add an author box to your page. So down here below, if you wanna do something like this, which I don't have here, let me show you what I mean. Let's go to tonyflorida.com 
and we'll pick a blog post here, this one right here. If you wanna add an author box like this, I'll have a video on that and also how to dynamically add ads like you see here to your web page as well with generate press hooks. Check out one of these videos for that topic. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more and if you do, I'll see you in the next video.